my beautiful people welcome back to my channel hope you all are good and excited that we are in 2021 so i haven't uploaded in a while the past week or so this video is basically gonna be about advice to our new college students first years for 2021 now we know last year was a very tricky year were very uncertain of the future and our matriculants had a very tough year ever life goes on and we made it into 2021 so that's that's something anyways so i'm just going to basically be giving advice to our first years for this year um i don't know if you guys well you should have applied for um applied at university in college sorry guys this weather is just making me tired <laughs> yeah i hope you guys all applied for like the new semester and for 2021 at the various like colleges and universities um that is of your choice and yeah, I hope you all also understand the minimum requirements for the specific like courses that you guys choose to study or chose to study. So yeah, that's just like a short disclaimer before I continue this video. <laughs> yeah, I hope you all are like, you know, doing life. But yeah, that's besides the point. Um, this is just some advice. Once again, I'm saying it, I'm repeating it for our first years. Uh, the first thing you need to do is basically know when your registration um, starts for this year and the semester. Usually, you would register for the whole year. I'm not sure if there are varsity for colleges that make you like register every semester, re-register every semester. But as far as I'm concerned, you register basically for the whole year and then you re-register the following year. So you need to know when your registration date starts and when it ends so that you can be on time for registration. Um, registration usually takes place either online or in person. I'm not sure with our um, lockdown restrictions that we currently have, what, how will registration be taking place or how has it taken place. But at my college, which is Boston City Campus, you can register online or you can register in person. Um, yeah. So know when your registration date starts, when it ends. Um, I'm not sure if there is still applications open for first years at this time. Maybe January 30th today. Yeah, it's January 30th. And I'm not sure, like, are the university still accepting students? Like, are you still, like, able to apply? Would they have to register? I'm not sure. But I think there should be a grace period because of the lockdown that we had last year. So most of the universities are basically like opening in March, I think, for the first years. I know my college is opening the 15th of March for first years and then second and third years and so forth. We open like on the 15th of Feb, the semester. So yeah, that's my little bit of advice first bit of advice i think the second bit of advice is to prepare for your semester um i'm going to show you how to prepare but let me first explain how to prepare like ways that you can prepare for the semester firstly you also need to know your the classes that you'll be taking like the modules that you'll be doing that semester um i know usually at the universities or the colleges there's like a portal student portal where all your modules appear and you receive a course outline for the semester and it basically shows you what how many hours you need to spend on a certain course what the requirements for a specific module is to pass it and so forth and so forth so know which courses you are taking Sick. thirdly there was second me thirdly if you if your modules are already loaded onto the portal at this time i'm not sure it might take some time because of the lockdown the regulation that we've been under this past year um things are like there's like a massive grace period for first year students 
so i just make sure that you know when you're aware if you have registered already um know and be be aware basically of what is going on in terms of your studies it's very important even if you like you know are annoying people think you're annoying at the campus because you're always asking questions it's very good to be informed it's very good to know know what is happening inside of your student life like just know okay knowledge is power <laughs> but yeah um i don't think i am aware that um the first years for this year will be receiving the matric results i think in february mid-february towards the end of february so it's later than usual so i know there's a grace period for you guys to register but what i'm saying once again is know when your registration opens know when it closes so that you are not late for registration because if you are late for registration you'll have to wait for next semester and that's just how life is um it's called adulting <laughs> adulting is what happens when you finish high school you need to be an adult like you need to think like one you need to be responsible you need to be accountable for your studies there's no teacher that's gonna be like have you done your homework if you didn't do your homework you get detention no in varsity in college if you don't do your homework you just get a zero if you don't pa if you don't study and you fail a subject you either qualify to rewrite the subject which is a supplementary exam that they give you or you fail it and you have to redo it so that's basically what college and varsity life it's not what it's all about but it's part of it like you need to be responsible and accountable for your studies somebody else can know more about your studies than you you need to know you need to be aware you need to be informed so yeah that was just like some you know advice on the side you know just a lot of a dessert but yeah and then another thing when you're preparing for your new semester um it's not like school where you get like a stationary list and what stationery you need and so forth and so forth i know um universities will maybe like indicate if you need a laptop or they will give you one for free that sometimes that's like that happens at university but they will never give you like a stationary list or stationery that you need like when you're in high school or primary school that's not what it's about and in varsity you don't need a lot of stationery so yeah you don't need a whole lot you don't need as much stationery as you needed when you were in high school and primary school in varsity you basically i don't know like you can basically see for yourself what you prefer like sometimes people like to add stuff you know you don't want to just get like a lot of it a small amount a lot of it a small amount of stationery some people like stationery i like stationery i'm one of i'm that person i love stationery so yeah you might want to get more but um from what i know from experience um you basically just need highlighters or markers or whatever but definitely not permanent yeah don't be that person but yeah you need highlighters you need pens you mostly use a black pen in varsity but also have like a blue pen on hand because you're gonna like be filling in forms and stuff like that and it's called adulting you need a black pen and then you need pens um it depends on what you're studying you might need a pencil you might not need a pencil if you're doing something like architecture you need a pencil you need a whole lot of pencils but if you're doing something like law and stuff you don't really need pencils but you do get subjects or modules like accounting where you need a pencil like a pencil is just easier to use because you're going to be constantly making mistakes so it's easier to erase and to like just use pen so definitely get a pencil one or two pencils um yeah that's it like you might need a ruler a ruler is something i use a ruler i don't know maybe i'm just trying to be fancy but i use it like even for my textbooks if i'm busy with a with like a textbook i use a ruler just to, you know like a book as a bookmark yeah my english <sighs> stuff but yeah you use a ruler like i use a ruler like as a bookmark in place of a bookmark or whatever you call it but yeah i substitute it for a bookmark so you can use a ruler um i don't know a laptop is something 
here is Sensho in University in college because you're gonna be doing assignments yeah this is like the next point your assignments we're gonna talk about assignments now in varsity and college assignments is completely different from the assignments you would do in high school or in primary school so in varsity it's like a whole new world basically so when it comes to assignments your assignments will be i don't know it depends on the varsity on the institute because in our institute, we don't write out assignments, we type out assignments. But there are some colleges or varsity universities where you will have to write out assignments. So, but it's always good to have a laptop or have access to one, like in your family or whatever, like have access to a computer or a laptop or a library near you if you can't afford a laptop. But yeah, a laptop is very essential when it comes to assignments because you have to, there's a certain format and layout that you or have to do your assignments in but that's something you learn like as a first year that's something you learn um it's very tough first year in varsity is very it's very new it's very exciting but it's also very difficult because you have to like adjust from being a high school student to being a college student it's a whole it's a whole new level like you need to be like really responsible so when it comes to assignments i know there is referencing you have to reference this is just like me giving you some insider tips you know because this is something i didn't know when i when i started out um i didn't know what referencing was i didn't know how to reference but we had a we did have a class on it so my first semester in college we did have a class on it it gave me understanding but obviously it's something new so the more you practice the more you understand the more you know what you're doing so at first it obviously didn't come to me but as time went on, you know, it was okay. So yeah, um, referencing is something you will, is a word that you will be familiarized with. We have two styles of referencing. It's basically, okay, there's not just two styles, but there's the two that I know that are most common is the, I think it's APA or something like that. Let me not, I'm not familiar with this one, but there's one that sounds like that. Then there's the Harvard style referencing, which is like the most common we do it at our college it's the most i think for me it's the simplest one but yeah referencing is basically like you give reference to like the person that wrote the textbook the author of the textbook or the author of the, the article so it's basically you're not saying this is your own words you're basically giving a reference to this is actually that person's words because if you take it as your own words then it's called plagiarism so it's another word it's going to stress you out in varsity but don't stress guys <sighs> that's why i'll be giving you advice today that you don't panic when you see those words so yeah that's like i think that's it for assignments basically but also another tip for assignments get somebody to edit your assignments whether it be your father your mother your brother your sister your cousin your aunt that you know they are really good with like grammar and english and all of that Get them to edit it for you, like to read through it and tell you like mark like this needs change, you need to change this in your grammar, you need to change this in your language. So get somebody to edit your assignments because everything counts when it comes to assignments, every point counts. Um, yeah, so that's prepping for the new semester. If you know I'll handle stationery. Like I said, it basically depends on you, but I'm the main like basic thing that you'll need in terms of stationery is like your highlighters, your pens, your pencils, your ruler, a laptop, and notebooks. Yeah, notebooks. I've recently discovered that there is these there are these um, five star five subject notebooks and three subject notebooks. Um, you can find them on take a lot, but they're quite pricey. So yeah, I don't know if you guys want to do that. I haven't done that yet, so I don't know. But normal notebooks or hardcovers, like, I don't know. I just think hardcovers are like the most simplest thing because you know all your notes are in there. Notebook can, pages can always fall out and tear out easily. But when it comes to hardcovers, you know all your notes are in one place for a specific subject and you're not going to lose notes when it comes to exam time. Yeah, so make sure all your stationery is in place, 
um, make sure you have everything. I, yeah, that's about it. What other advice can I give you guys? I think just stay focused. Like last week, just stay focused. Um, try to stay focused. It is exciting. As a first year, it is very exciting. It's easy for you to lose your mind because <laughs> it's a whole new world. It's freedom on another level because you don't have teachers like constantly shouting at you. Where's the, I shouldn't do my homework. Like lecturers are there, they do their job and they leave. That's it. They don't care. You didn't do your work, you get a zero. You didn't study, you fail. That's it. Like you just need to be accountable and responsible for your own work and your own studies and your own future. Because if you're not you, then who? So that's my advice for the first years of 2021. Like don't be nervous, don't be scared, don't be anxious. Just enjoy every minute of it. And at the same time, just be responsible. Just know what you need for your studies. Know what is required for you to pass. Know the required, like the marks, the minimum percentage for you to pass. Know like how to do your assignments. Know what type of stationery you need. How to prepare for exams. I will do a video on how to prepare for exams. But yeah, I just know, like, knowledge is power in college and varsity. It truly is. Um, I think in varsity or college, you usually have access, like, to your lecturers' emails and stuff like that, where you can ask them questions. I know some lecturers will, like, put out slides, you know, of notes and stuff like that. On le like, slides, which is notes, based on the lectures that you do in class or online. And then just know that, be aware that that type of information is available to you and use it to your advantage because it's better to ask questions, to be a fool for that moment and ask questions than to be a fool for the rest of your life and just keep quiet and not know what you need to do and just like fail all the time because it's varsity and college life is a whole other thing. So yeah guys, um, that's my advice for the first years of 2021. Um, just a little bit of advice on how to prepare yourself mentally and physically for this new journey that we embark on. It's a great journey, like, don't take it for granted. Don't be too, you know, invested in school that you don't have a social life or you don't, you don't exercise. There's another tip before we end of this video. Exercise. Make time to exercise or do a sport or have a hobby because your studies can really make you lose your mind if you are a person that stresses a lot like somebody I know you know so yeah I tried I started exercising like walking running in the morning it really helps it really helps especially during exam time just get make sure you have a hobby but the hobby also shouldn't take you away from your studies so in all in all just have balance a sentence didn't make sense, but just have balance. Just have balance. That is really important for studying and being a student. Have balance. So yeah, I think I just covered everything that I wanted to cover in terms of preparing you for this new semester and this new journey that you guys will be heading into. Um, one more thing. Uh, for matriculants that don't get a bachelor endorsement, do not freak out. If you do not pass with a bachelor's endorsement, you pass maybe with a diploma endorsement, it means you can do a diploma. And then you can do your bachelor. And then when it comes to students that pass with higher certificate, higher education, and which is like a bit lower than diploma, do not panic. Um, the colleges and universities offer uh bridging courses which will give you the um where's my words <laughs> the total amount of credits needed for you to do your degree so don't panic if you do not pass with the degree endorsement it's not the end of the world there's a way where there's a world there's a way remember be informed ask questions if you pass with higher education and you're not sure of what the way forward is for you Go to the university that you want to apply at or you have applied at. Find out what your options are. 
in states of college, find out. There's always student counselors at colleges and universities and they will advise you on what you can and cannot do. So don't sit at home and self and think that you have no future and what and what and what. There's no such thing. There's always a way. Um, whether you pass with a high education, diploma, degree, you're still going to reach your destination. It might be longer than getting a, de a degree endorsement. It might be more strenuous, but it will be worth it in the end. So just make sure you stay informed and ask the questions that you need to ask. Remember, if you get, if you pass with a higher education pass or a diploma pass, it just means that you need to, you are eligible just for a diploma and just for a higher certificate. But there's options that says like, if your high certificate is 120 credits and you need 120 credits to do your degree in a specific field, that high certificate is automatically like going to give you an endorsement to do your degree. So you, they, what they do at the universities and colleges is they don't give you a high certificate to do in business and then you want to do a degree in, in, in tourism. <coughs> Sorry. And you want to do a degree in tourism, it doesn't work like that. They usually will pair the high certificate with the type of degree that you want to do. So it will not be like far-fetched, it will be linked. So yeah, that's my final advice to you guys. I hope you guys um, all pass. <laughs> I really do hope you guys all pass and pass well. Um, if you do not pass as well, it's not the end of the world. Go to the colleges, go to the varsities and ask what your options are. Go with your results, your statement. Find out what your options are. Don't just give up. And yeah, I wish you guys all the best for the new semester. I will be probably doing like a back, what's in my backpack video, maybe next week. I'm not sure. Yeah. But peace, guys. Enjoy the new journey.